Hello, Jamas. How you doing? How you doing? I hope you're doing good. I'm doing really good. I'm chilling. Oh, sorry. Hopefully that didn't make a lot of noise. Um, I just wanted to come in, have a little quick laid back video. I didn't sleep today, so that's why I'm sounding probably a little like chill. But um, I was watching this video some weeks ago. And this guy that makes spiritual videos was talking about how women naturally are monogamous and guys naturally are polygamous, polygamous, okay, something like that. You feel me? Like that women should be with one guy and that men sh can and should be with multiple women. And I was just like, mm, you know, I'm going to have an opinion about it. But I love his channel and I love all... Like, people that just share things that they feel um, that they're passionate about. Like, whatever, whether I agree with it or not, that's my own personal perspective. Which we are all different expressions of life. So, we're supposed to be different, you know. That's what makes it so perfect. And we can create that wheel that, like, flows together. Because we're all different. And then when we put the difference together, then it becomes the full picture. The one love, you know. <laughs> but... So when I was watching the video, just like for me, it didn't resonate with me because I see all relationships as the same, just that they they serve different purposes, I guess. With friendships, you have multiple people because you have one friend that you, for example, talk, have discussions about this type of stuff with and they love talking about that and you love talking about that. But then you have another friend who loves to eat and you have that in common and then you have different people that you can do different things with you know and that makes life more enjoyable because we're all different again and I feel like it's the same with relationships where even this whole idea that you can't flirt with someone that you're not in a relationship with it's like there's nothing wrong with flirting like it's all it's all love you know like all of us love attention. All of us appreciate attention and love as long as it comes from a genuine place. I don't feel like we should be putting ourselves like in cages and or not in cages, but you know what I'm saying, like saying this, we shouldn't do that. We shouldn't do that just because um, it doesn't make sense to me. But yeah, when he was saying that women are naturally monogamous, I didn't resonate with me at all. Because, first of all, if we're just going to talk about semen and the egg, like, I like to break things down to the source. And in creation, you have a man and a woman, right? They come together, they do what it do, get jiggy with it, and then you have the egg of the woman, the ovaries, and then you have the semen of the male. And if you, like, search up or if you remember from, <clears throat> is it biology class? All the different semen things that look like, Rumpetrol. I don't know what it's called in English, but you have dot and the line and then a lot of them. And then one of them wins and gets to the egg and then that becomes, develops into the baby. And just with that simple illustration, it shows how there's like multiple guys, multiple semen seeds that go towards the egg. And that's the way it is with us as well energetically the masculine is the one who goes out who approaches physically his sexual genitalia are is outside of his body and he's also the more active the more going out doing initiating whilst the female is the receptive is the magnet is the one who attracts attention who attracts the male and i feel like when a man says i have the right for to go to different women, but you don't have the right to attract different men. I'm just like, mm, screw, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> they don't love you like I love you. <laughs> Slow down. <laughs> Back up. <laughs> uh, <laughs> yeah. So I was just thinking about different examples. Like you have the flower and the bee, flower and the bees. Um, where the flowers just stand still and the bees go out and go for the po pollen thing and then they fly away, love. And then the flowers receives different bees, you know? 
Um, and the bees, too, go to different flowers. Like, it's all one love, you feel me? You can't, I don't know. I just feel like with spirituality, with the knowing that everything is energy, that all beings embody both male and female energy because we're created from male and female just in this physical we have either in this world in this reality we either have the male or female physical expression but like in the mind you have the male side and the female side i don't know if i pointed at the right sides like left and right but you feel what i'm saying Mm -hmm. you feel me yeah you feel me Mm -hmm. So that was just, I was a little bit confused with what that guy was saying. But I really love his channel outside of that. Or not outside of it, but I love, again, people that just talk freely and express what they um, experience life as. Don't don't have to agree with everything. That's the point of it. I feel, I feel, do you see these from Kemet up here? Chia? Kemet? Kemet? That's actually all I had to say for today or for now. Just wanted to share that with y'all. Share them thoughts, you know. Feel free to share if you have any opinion or thoughts about it. It would be dope. I'm going to get me some sleep later, but I'm going to be watching some more people talking before that. Stay jamming. Stay loving. I appreciate you guys. I see y'all new subscribers as well. Um, welcome to the party. I don't know what to say. It's cool. It's dope. Um, keep it jamming, you know? Keep it vibing. I got to sleep.